Hello everyone, here I am with, an, with my last LEGO Harry Potter Summer 2021 review, and this one is on the Hogwarts Carriage and Thestrals set, of course. So on the front of the box here, we do have the, uh, so do have the two logos that we've seen since last year, of course, and also a picture of the set that there is, and also the two mini things included, and Recommended ages 7 and up, set number 76400, has 121 pieces. And flip to the back of the box, do you see the, the another some other positioning of it, and close-ups of the mini pigs and creatures included, and the logo again, and that. <coughs> and onto the instruction manual, of which different picture than on the front of the box, of course, that new thing that they're going for. And also, out of how they're transitioning to paper bags, of course. And on the back, have win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then out of the Hogwarts castle sets, how you can build and swap, of course. And then how to swap pieces of the Thestral. And then the last steps. And so now for the two mini figs. Uh, let me put this in. Okay, there we go. So we which have Harry Potter, of course, with some, with exclusive uh, torso printing that we haven't seen yet before. But hair piece of which, same as is in, in most of these recent sets. But I think I would kind of, but I more prefer the recent one that they've been using since 2018 to show the traditional scar on there, of course. But aside from that, neither of which have any lake printing, kind of odd, but. And he, of course, holding the green apple piece, of which they can feed to the Thestrals. And we also have Luna Lovegood, of which does have some nice torso printing and using the mid legs, of which kind of weird on how that is, although could have worked out with normal legs for that. And, of course, has the Indiana Jones satchel piece, but in dark blue. Quite nice to see there. And also... Holding a plain tile piece, although buggy, but there is another accessory of it which I'll go over in a while or in a bit. Maybe. And whereas face print, which same as from previous sets, and hair piece also the same from previous sets. And then back torso printing, very slight for Harry, of course. And whereas, oh, whoops. Whereas face prints of which kind of the same as from previous sets and waves of course but yeah and if you remember that for this in uh, or the phoenix of course if you notice that for the scenes that have this particular carriage that we're about to look at is that there's a couple other characters that they also could have included like a different variation of Hermione Granger of course or Cho Chang also kind of prevalent there Then, since of course, although with last year with the uh, Polyjuice Potion Mistakes set, which was also twenty dollars, and uh, but included around four figs instead of just two. But although I think that could have worked out for that, but I think at least still fine. But this selection still good as is, since with exclusive variants, of course. And that's about it with that. And also, not at only wizard card it's with this, unlike you get in some of the re other sets, but maybe they're starting to trend away from that or whatever. And also, do you get the two Thestral, so which do you get the all new, uh, small ish one? Okay, this one, one. Oh, and of course, the sculpting of which done really nicely, and of course. 
nice good printing for the eyes and whatnot and also nice sculpting on the tail of course and also the wings but and also like all these smaller animal pieces like the dinosaurs and so on does have the like has a single stud on there and fits onto two studs as well so at least good to see this build away and then to the main death drill which same as from the Fantastic Beasts, small Fantastic Beasts set from 2018, yeah. But also great to see here after a few years of that. And of course, same exact wing pieces, but I'm not sure if this pattern's new or whatever. But also, but also like that set can like attach a few pieces to there. But unlike that set where you get an extra plate piece and you can swap it in the middle section of course and ta attachment which i'll show in a, in a bit but yeah but uh, aside from that for how this is still great to get here of course after like a few years of being one set of course but yeah and now on to the carriage itself Of course, it's just a carriage, but kind of some, well, unlike how for some that we see in most castle sets, but at least this, which is a little bit unique and different for that. Like starting out with the front section of which, which of course has the ball joint piece, pixel ball joint, but used for the thestral attachment bit, which I'll go, I'll show later, of course, but also do have the like, like traditional carriage wheel pieces, also like in most castle sets, and also do you have the usual uh, chair piece or traditional seat pieces there as the front bench area, and also classic fence piece for the front rail, and also and enough space to slip a tile onto it. And of course, this switch being the Quippler, which Luna Lovegood also previously had in a collectible minifig series, of course, but still sparkly and still nice to get here, of course. And also you got those, like, snot bricks there, but with a couple of studs on them representing lights or lanterns on them. Also, some of those, like, hinge-type brick-type plates, but used as like side bits to it and as for the back part of which which does have plenty of seating to the probably sit like four figs onto and also the classic car door piece that slides in and out and also some of those side plates used as seats of course and also of course does roll well and now can attach the thester on to like so. And does move and maneuver quite well, and yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. <coughs> so overall, I think this was a quite good set for the twenty dollars. Oh. Uh, just I just forgot. Uh, I'll go over the verdict later, but also do get included is this little treat for them. As you can see, it's quite similar to most Lego trees we've previously had. Like we of course have the, like cylinder piece in red, although it kind of looks like from Super Mario or whatever, but not at all any spots printing on it. And also to get the newer leaf piece in yellow, of course. And of course, playing a simplistic build and also playing as usual leaf bush pieces on there. And all of which resting on one corner plate there. Oh, it's quite good as is. And also a little uh, jagged slope piece there. Which put to some alright use to that. But still still almost simplistic as most tree builds but aside from that still all right to include but 
all the right things. But yeah. Oh wait, more in the verdict. Okay, so now on to the final verdict. Overall, this I think a quite good set for the twenty dollars that it is. Like, you get two exclusive variants of existing minifigs. Although I think a couple others also could have been included, but but also I think I think although the tree, which I think kind of it works out representing haunt in haunted forest, of course. But also as for the Thestral, great to have, great to have here. That like we haven't seen since 2018, obviously, and also nice to get the uh, younger Thestral as well. But maybe they'll appear in other sets in eventually. But yeah. But also nice to get a tile as of the Quibbler, of course. And also as although the tree bit of also does work out as a good parts pack, like some of the like black and browns and the carriage wheels, of course. But although, if I were to suggest is to bump it up to why have the tree there, is probably make it $20 like the last version, which most of the build was for the carriage, of uh, course. But aside from that, still kind of workable, but yeah. And so now if you're looking to get this set for your LEGO Harry Potter collection, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get this for your Enchanted Forest display, or Haunted slash Enchanted Forest display, also definitely pick this up. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.